today I want to show you how we can install the timber retaining wall for the backyard. There is a this level is 600 higher than the other garden and we want to make a retaining timber retaining wall in this side to stop the soil in the side for the turf area and the garden then a step down and make other garden in the site. Why we build the retaining wall to stop the soil not washing through the fence and pushing the fence to the site. First step is install the string line at the height we want it and make it level to the site. From that corner to the side and also connect it to the the concrete driveway for the pathway. This one will be pathway level to the wall and laying the pebbles and the pavers on top of it. That's a timber post. It's 125 by 75. We have a three course a sleeper will be 600 and then 600 to the ground and concrete around it. We use the quick set concrete to set the post and install the timber post as well. That's a H4 designed for the using for landscaping, touching the soil and in the wet area in the soil to be a long life. Then we're going through And you can check it by the post. The post is here. You can check by post. And that's access from the driveway. The access and the retaining wall that side and then turning, going straight to the side. First step is in installing the timber retaining wall and you need to dig a hole 600 deep and concrete around the post. Guys, we check the level for the post when we want to install it. This is end of the post, the mark on the line, and we checking that direction and also this direction as well. It's touching and level by the string line, and then slowly we fill it up by the concrete around it, and then we add water and put a steel bar to mix the water and the concrete around the post. Put it. Slowly, all around, we yeah, need two bags of concrete. And one guy should be holding the post, and the other at the water and. 